story on time. Good morning. My name is Ed O'Malley. I have the privilege of welcoming you here today to this incredible, wonderful, special announcement and opportunity. I serve as president and CEO of the Kansas Health Foundation, which is just right next door. But until just a few months ago, I was the president and CEO of the Kansas Leadership Center. I appreciate Julia Favors McBride, the current president and CEO of the Leadership Center, allowing me the opportunity to welcome you to this space, to this building. It's so fitting that McPherson is making this announcement here. The Leadership Center and McPherson College have had a wonderful partnership for many, many years now. Uh, helping the college, its students, its faculty and administrators learn a framework that helps organizations and communities seize major opportunities and make progress on daunting challenges. We all know Michael well enough to know that that's his wheelhouse, right? Yeah. And uh, what an exciting thing to have you here today for this announcement. We're so honored that this is taking place at the Kansas Leadership Center and look forward to continuing to support the incredible work happening at McPherson College. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Ed and Julia, for, this one, for sharing this wonderful facility with us today. I am grateful for the relationship McPherson College has with the Kansas Leadership Center. Also joining today are some important friends of McPherson College. We have U.S. Senator Jerry Moran, activist, philanthropist, and Giving Pledge member Melanie Lundquist, and McPherson College student Victoria Bruno. We're here today because we have a very strong visionary board of trustees and I'd like to thank our board of trustee chair Carrie Kobeman and our entire board of trustees and former trustees who are here with us today. Also thanks to McPherson Mayor Tom Brown, State Senator Rick Wilburn and his wife Pam, President of the Kansas Independent College Association Matt Lindsay, our students, our faculty and our staff and of course my wife, Candy, who I met at McPherson College, who's been along with me on this journey at her alma mater for the last 20 years. <laughs> We're here today to share some very important, exciting, and historic news. It is my honor to announce that McPherson College has received an irrevocable $500 million estate commitment to our endowment. This is the largest gift ever made to McPherson College. It is also the largest single gift made to any small liberal arts college in the United States. So this is an anonymous double match estate gift. That means the anonymous dotum will match two for one every dollar committed to McPherson College up to $500 million. Simply put, a gift from you for, of $1 will be double matched by the donor, which means McPherson College gets $3. This transformational gift will help fund four strategic initiatives within our strategic plan, Community by Design. These initiatives include the Student Debt Project, a new campus master plan, which includes a modern destination campus, the development of a Kansas Center for Rural and Community Health, and a new National Center for the Future of Engineering, Design, and Mobility. So many of you will remember in May when our commencement speaker, Dr. Melanie Lundquist, made a surprise announcement. Melanie and her husband, Richard, announced they were making a $25 million gift to McPherson College. 
Today, Melanie is here to share more about the historic matching gift and their ongoing commitment to McPherson College. Thank you, President Schneider. My husband Richard and I are thrilled to be here with you this morning. Senator Moran, thank you for being here as well. Your presence sends a very strong message about the importance of this announcement today. It's an understatement that today is the biggest day in McPherson College's history. I thought back in May when my husband and I made a $25 million commitment to McPherson, it was a big day. <laughs> After all, at that time, it was the single largest contribution to McPherson College's history. Well, just a few months later, that's been totally eclipsed, and actually, we're all the better for it. And with that said, Richard and I have our own additional announcement to make. We want to underscore the importance of this matching grant. We want to strengthen our commitment to McPherson College and President Schneider, count us in for another 25 million. Well, now that it's 50 million, Still some less zeros less than. <laughs> that unlocks $100 million from the match for McPherson College. And so those, for those two numbers together, McPherson College will get $150 million into its endowment. <laughs> That's the value of a double matching grant, folks. And wouldn't we all like that kind of ROI return on investment? <laughs> Which means that McPherson is a smart investment where we can have an outsized impact and make a big difference. And nobody deserves it more than the students of McPherson. I am so honored that the anonymous donor has authorized me to speak on their behalf. They've chosen to remain anonymous because they value their privacy. But more importantly than that, their anonymity is because they are absolutely adamant that the attention be placed on the students and the good work of McPherson College, not themselves. So today, McPherson <coughs> College and its students should be the main focus. Clearly, McPherson College is a special place. Richard and I know it, and now the country will know it. And I would like to end my comments by sharing part of an op-ed that I wrote for Inside Higher Education. Our $25 million gift to McPherson, now 50, is our first major gift in higher education. And it is our hope that this gift will shine a light on the value of a small college education and how, meaningfully, how meaningful philanthropy can help to solidify a small college's future. The research shows that small classes make big differences. The reality is that many universities are structured to have large enrollment, lower division classes, and they pay for small enrollment, upper division, and graduate classes. Small liberal arts colleges, however, have the enormous advantage of being able to engage their students, not only in small learning environments, but also in social settings that foster growth, encouragement, and support. They create nurturing ecosystems that foster creativity and innovation. So the golden age of higher education is ahead of us, not behind us. And we cannot miss this opportunity to invest in smaller liberal arts institutions 
that are preparing future leaders to navigate a world that increasingly demands adaptability, cooperation, and innovation. So today, I encourage my fellow philanthropists to do just that, doubling down their ROIs through taking advantage of this $500 million matching grant to McPherson College. Thank you. Richard, your generosity and support are so meaningful to me and our entire college community. Today, you've once again demonstrated a pow how powerful an impact the future of our institution and our students. Your commitment to both K-12 public education and now higher education is extraordinary. And Richard, we're excited to put you to work on our Board of Trustees. <laughs> We're fortunate to have a McPherson College student here to share the impact this $500 million matching commitment will have on future generations of McPherson College students. Victoria Bruno is a senior studying automotive restoration. She's a member of our Mercedes-Benz Path to Pebble Beach project and a member of our Cars Club. Victoria? Thank you, President Schneider. Uh, I'm happy to be here today on this tremendous occasion representing the McPherson College student body. Like many others, I came to McPherson College in pursuit of my passion. I sought a learning environment that would cultivate my skill set and build a foundation for my future career. It was with great excitement and anticipation that I began my first semester at the only higher education institution offering a bachelor's degree in automotive restoration. However, after my first week of classes, I realized I was receiving an education unparalleled to any other. McPherson College possesses a unique brand of education, one guided by a mission to develop whole persons through scholarship, participation, and service, through unique opportunities, hands-on projects, and a top quality learning environment, I've been able to experience the heart of this mission firsthand. It is because of McPherson College that I will graduate with my Bachelor's of Science in Automotive Restoration, and I know I will make a difference in the world. And because of the opportunities I've received as a student, I've already been able to secure my dream job after I graduate. The gifts announced today will transform students' lives. It will ensure that future McPherson College students will be able to graduate without debt from the Student Debt Project. And the commitment will provide the funding for campus updates including new student housing, and also what will be the most modern college campus in the Midwest. This commitment ensures that our academic programs will continue to grow and evolve. So to our anonymous donor, and Melanie and Richard Lundquist, and to all who step up to the challenge, I wanna thank you for recognizing that McPherson College is worthy of your support. Thank you, Victoria. This is a historic day for McPherson College, but it is also a historic day for the state of Kansas. This $500 million commitment validates the important work being done by liberal arts colleges and ensures that McPherson College will be a valuable contributor to the state of Kansas forever. Senator Moran has been an important advocate for education in Kansas, and we're happy that he is here with us today. It is my pleasure to welcome the senior United States Senator from Kansas, Jerry Moran. Well, 
I really am inadequate in this particular setting. Uh, Mr. President, your leadership is exceptional. Melanie, you and Richard, I have no announcement to make at all <laughs> similar to the one that you just made. Uh, and Victoria, I'm surprised you're not a marketing, uh, public speaking uh, major. Uh, obviously, when you describe McPherson College as a well-rounded education, it includes the ability to stand in front of the public and espouse some very important things. And you are very impressive, which gives us all hope that good things will continue to happen in our education system. And as a result, good things happen in Kansas and good things happen in our country. Melanie, I, I, I agree with you when I was uh, uh, hearing about the announcement of the 25 May and I thought this is an amazing development and I hope you don't feel disappointed that you've now been outdone uh, by this uh, <laughs> greater grant. In Kansas, what we would say is you have primed the pump <laughs> and you have done it so well. Richard, thank you. And Michael, uh, I mean, it's a wonderful thing to have you as the president, but it occurs to me that we could u use you in the nation's capital. Um, we are very good at spending money. We are not so good in raising money. And uh, those two things ultimately uh, have to come into balance. And I am here to express certainly my gratitude to the anonymous donors the Lundquist and to others in this room and around Kansas and really around the country. Isn't it special that a couple from California have found McPherson College as one of the major places for them to exhibit their charity and care for others? It, it says something special about the Lundquist, but it also says something special about McPherson College in Kansas, that we were found to be acceptable for such generosity, for such care and concern. Isn't it wonderful that we live in a country in which people know, wherever they live, that what happens in an institution of higher education, in a private college in the state of Kansas, has a consequence upon all of us, wherever we live, in this nation and in this world. I'm of the view we change the world one soul, one soul at a time. We change the world one person at a time. And it can happen any place. We certainly hope it happens at home. We help, hope it happens in our churches, in our synagogues. We know it happens every day in classrooms across Kansas and around the country. Education is the component that gives us hope. Education is the feature that allows us to pursue the American dream. Education is the way that everyone has a chance. My view is that there are few guarantees in life. And it's probably not our job as public officials to guarantee many things. But it is our responsibility to make certain that we guarantee an opportunity for success. And it is at our universities, schools, colleges, it is at our public education and private education system in which we begin the process of guaranteeing that everybody, every American has the opportunity to pursue their dreams in their lives. So I am here to express my gratitude. I am here to say my expectations are that the gifts that have been described today and the gifts that are being solicited today means that McPherson College, the state of Kansas, the American people and our nation, and ultimately the world, are and become a better place. We often look to government to solve all of our problems. And while we have a role to play, it's what people do with their own lives, their own earnings, their own dreams, that make America a great place, in fact, the greatest country in the world. Congratulations to McPherson College on this amazing success. Thank you to the President and his board for their leadership. And know that uh, we will do everything we can to see that this day is even a bigger day as the gifts begin pouring in 
to meet that match. Congratulations to McPherson College. We are grateful for your success, and we look forward to having students like Victoria find their way, their future, in a place called home, our state of Kansas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Moran. Thank you. With this transformational commitment comes a significant challenge. So I'm hoping that this graphic will help us understand and explain how this double match works. So we have until June 30th, 2023, to raise $250 million, which will in turn secure $500 million from our anonymous donor, and our total endowment will be $750 million. So we have been quietly raising money for this match the last few months, and I'm excited to announce that we are over halfway to our goal. So including Melanie and Richard's $50 million gift, we have raised $130 million towards a match, which will be double matched by the donor at $260 million, which means we have, we have earned $390 million towards this challenge. So all this is to say, that before June 30th, 2023, we need to raise $120 million for McPherson College. Now is the time. We need the word to get out. McPherson College is a bankable investment in our young people's future. <laughs> seven years ago, seven years ago, when McPherson College launched its strategic plan, Community by Design, I made a promise to our community. I promised our community, that we would build a plan for a $1 billion endowment. Today, today, we are well on our way to a $1 billion goal. So, so before I invite a few questions from our media, I want to invite our media and uh, any of you here today uh, to campus tomorrow, uh, Saturday, for our new campus common groundbreaking at 3 o'clock in McPherson, Kansas. So I, with that, I would be happy to uh, entertain any, uh, a few questions from the media. That's a great question. Um, we've come to know um, McPherson College with um, Michael and the Provost Amanda uh, for the last 12 years. And we have learned of the visionary leadership and the commitment and the dedication that they have to their, their students. They feel an enormous responsibility and Richard and myself, we feel an enormous responsibility to make sure that those philanthropic dollars are used very, very, very well. They're near and dear, they're precious dollars, and we have an obligation and responsibility to make sure that we know that it's a good investment. Um, and by knowing what the leadership is like here and what the commitments and how strong they are, and the continuity of having somebody uh, in Michael who's been on this campus now for 20 years, um, that is all of the, it's kind of like the right stuff um, that allows us um, to be very impressed and willing to make that kind of commitment. And also because um, we have come to really understand what the small liberal arts college represents. Both Richard and myself, we graduated from a very large university. Um, and so we didn't have the experience of the small uh, liberal arts college. 
but we've come to understand what it signifies for this country. And that is probably, I think, covers most of the reasons that we chose this. <laughs> but it'll be transformative for the town as well. Talk about kind of how this endowment will enable you all to bring more people into the college, bring more people to the city, and just kind of the hand-in-hand -hand work that this means for the entire area around you. Yeah, I think um, uh, first and foremost, um, you know, th there are lots of small towns in Kansas who have uh, college colleges, and so this will enable us to have a position of strength forever and ever and, and draw uh, students from all over the country to McPherson, Kansas, who maybe, maybe they'll stay here, <laughs> right? So. And then the other question I had is specifically about the rural and community health science center. Uh, I mean, we, we were just coming through the greatest health issue of our generation, of multiple generations. Uh, rural health care, especially yeah. here in Kansas and across the country, has been the fast importance. Talk about the transformation of building and having something like this to be able to grow and develop rural and McPherson College has had a long uh, line of success in the, the sciences. There are several uh, physicians and scientists in the, in the room who are our alumni uh, today. And so it's exciting to broaden our scope of how we'll uh, serve our students and then be able to serve uh, the community. I think a, a lot of big universities are working on really big, important things, curing diseases. Um, and we want to be a part of something really important too, and that's taking care of the health of folks in small rural communities. And so I think this program will give us a great opportunity to partner with lots, of, including the McPherson Healthcare System, McPherson Hospital, uh, which we've, we've been doing for the last uh, few, few years. It provides a nice model for us to go out and do the important work. Maybe it doesn't get as much attention as other things in health, healthcare but the, the health uh, of our uh, folks in rural communities. A endowment like this is big for any school, but even more importantly, a liberal arts. And so my question is, is the school expected to stay at the liberal arts in the long run, or uh, maybe something bigger that can allow more students in as well? Yeah, I think uh, we're heading on a great. We're heading in in the right direction, the, and and I uh, our board values the liberal arts. I don't I don't see that changing. What this allows us to do is put our work on a new trajectory. <coughs> Other questions? Um, so, so uh, we've got until June 30th, 2023 to meet the match. And I would invite everybody back here in July <laughs> to see how it goes. So let's come back in July. So let, I'll, I'll uh, uh, wrap up. Um, thank you again to the Kansas Leadership Center. We appreciate you all so much. Thank you for sharing your space with us. Thank you, Senator Moran. Thank you, Melanie and Richard. And thank you, Victoria, for being here with us today. This truly is a momentous day for McPherson College. You're all invited to stay for lunch uh, to the media. We'll be several of us will be sticking around to uh, uh, to answer to answer additional questions and do one-on-one -on -one interviews. I would hope our students would come down afterwards for a little uh, photo opportunity. Uh, that would be uh, great. This is an amazing day for McPherson College, and I'll just leave you with this: It is a great day to be a Bulldog. <laughs>